Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we're going to be using natural ochre pigments and I'll show you how you can paint with them. So here are some pigments, natural ochre pigments that I found on a pathway near where I live. And this is a, a limestone area and as you can see there's red and this one's yellowy. Another little one here. And what I've done is I've ground them up. So here you can see them here. And then I've ground them up even more finely. So what we're going to do is take some water and just put a bit of water on them like that. And you can just experiment. So these are the same pigments that would have been used to paint the wonderful cave, cave art in prehistory times. And I think they may, I'm going to change colour here, I think they may have um, used scallop shells like this to mix them in. Don't worry if there's still some of this gritty quality to it. You could grind it down even further. But this will rub off at the end anyway when it's dry. So here I've just stretched a piece of paper so that it doesn't warp. And I wanted to show you this as well. So this I found, and I think this was actually could have been used in prehistory to carry the pigments within it. You see it's slightly red. And they would have used a stone like this upon another stone and then ground the pigments down. So using a pigment like this, just grinding it down to fine powder. And the other thing that I found on that walk was this. And I've had it checked and we think it's a prehistoric scraper. So here you can see it's been flinted around the edge. It's a nice weight for the hand. And here you see this has been chipped off more recently and you can see these have been covered with a white calcite which takes a long time to form, thousands of years. So by seeing this bit here you can see that these were done many, many years ago. So we think this is a, and it would have been used probably to clean skins and things like that. So here I've left it to dry, and you could leave these on if you want a bit of texture and just fix it, or you can rub them off like this. You get a nice texture underneath. And I also wanted to show you the stones that I use for grinding the pigment on. Look at these lovely colours here. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe below. Thank you.